All right. Well, where do we start? <laughs> We're in our storm shelter. We actually are using it because uh, there's a tornado sighting in the area. It's uh -huh. the yeah. Well, you didn't it's tell the, me that. It's the middle of the night. Well, we didn't want to scare you. That's a tornado sighting, so our phones went, started buzzing, went off, and said tornado warning, take shelter, especially if you're in an RV <laughs> or a trailer. And all of our neighbors are taking shelter, so we woke the kids up, jumped in the car, ran, drove 100 yards down the road to our house that's still being built, and jumped in the storm shelter just to be safe. And the storm's traveling really fast, so we'll know. Yeah, we can hear the hail. And the hail is huge. Got them. So fun. We got them. So Pull them this out. Is, this is what I ordered a long time ago, too, for the kids. Ladybugs. Hard to see until we open them. Let's go do it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so Amber opened it in the <laughs> barn, and they're going to fly out. Well, hey, but none of them have left me yet. They're all still here, babe. Okay, good, because they're expensive. They're like, just dropped one. They're like $10. I just dropped one. Where do you want to go? Um, start with the tomatoes. <laughs> they just jumped off. Like, hey, this is a good spot. Oh, they literally just, they just say this is a good spot. Let's go to the other tomatoes. How many did you order? I think there's Sorry, guys. a lot. No, this way. No. <laughs> it's so fun. I guess technically you could just put the whole bag on the in the bed. Here, let's take them to the peppers. There's dead ones flying out. Look at them, just all in them. They can't be dead and flying. So fun. Hey, girls. I guess I'll just put this right here. Awesome. So cool. this is, look at what I got. This is what I pulled out of the yard today. Oh, tell them about this one. Did you already film it? Yeah, I found this interesting herb in the yard and I looked it up. There's an app y'all called Picture This. This herb is called the Holy Herb. It's thought to be used on the wounds of Jesus Christ after his death, thus giving it the name. So most of these are like butterfly and hummingbird herbs. These are blackberry, wild blackberries that I found in the yard. So it's this, so I pulled them out. I got lots of blackberries. Guess what this is I found in the yard? What? Asparagus. Hmm. Turning into a gardening channel. I know, <laughs> I know. Look what we got, I mean, we're getting serious now. Now here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna go on tour and leave me with this. Nah. And I'm going to be responsible and they're all going to die. So once they get set, they're going to be so easy. That's so fun. Those ladybugs. I know. I hope they have enough to eat. <laughs> hope there's enough aphids in here. I haven't seen many. I haven't seen any yet. Yeah. London, who's it from? Becky from New Mexico. Is it fan mail? Yes, we'll open it in a little bit. Hey everybody, today we have a package from Becky. <laughs> what are you doing, Lincoln? We haven't done fan mail in a while, so we thought we would do fan mail. Three, two, one, open it up. Oh, what? First thing we have. It extends. We can catch grassy 
We can catch grassy. It we can like, catch grassy again. I don't want to. Oh, oh, it's jelly designs. Thank you. That is so cool. Thank you. This is so sweet, guys. We, you guys, never have to send us stuff. We're so grateful. So Thank you. It looks like. Wait, be careful because it looks like she might have made that. It's a, um, oh, it has your chosen on it. Sorry, I have to get a hold of it. Don't, don't oh, it has it. the stickers. Look at that. Wait, uh, I'm trying to hold it over here. Yeah. That's Sweet. It has my You Are Chosen stickers. It's an activity tracker. Disco potty. What is a disco <laughs> potty? What? What is a disco potty? <laughs> the toilet nightlight. <laughs> it's a nightlight that goes in the toilet. potty. So if you guys get up in the middle of the night, you can see. That's <laughs> so cool. Next thing, we have oh. this. Tea towel? Um, yeah. It goes on the um, oven. Here Goodness. Go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, silly putty. Next thing, there's something in here. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh, that's one of those drawings. Oh, those are fun. Things. Little spiral. Oh. Those are so fun. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. She's trying to see what y'all are doing. I've been holding her like this since she's a puppy, so she's just like, <laughs> Look. it's like her happy place. There's, there's a bracelet. Oh. It's a scrunchie, and then there's this Oh, wait, is this a Slappy hand? Stretchy hand. Oh, <laughs> oh, there you go. We switched. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> You're heavy. Guys, this is too much stuff. Becky, you do not have to do this. Okay, this says Amber Granger, oh, London, Lincoln, and Rib with a heart. I'm enclosing some stuff. I hope you'll have fun with them. Amber, I made a wreath for you. I hope it makes it okay. It will definitely need some fluff and perhaps a few something, I can't read what that says. Uh, congrats to the Smith family with love from New Mexico. Thank you, Becky. You do not have to send us stuff. The kids got so excited when they saw your name on the box. <laughs> Thank you, we appreciate all of you who send us fan mail. You do not have to do that. We're grateful. I think River would love that too, Rex, too. Yes. This is all so Thank you. I want to show you guys. Remember when I told you I bought that arrow garden and I was going to set up hydroponics and I was going to wait till I moved into the house? Well, then you know me. I couldn't wait. So I got it set up and then I didn't film and then it started growing. So you're going to pick up like a little bit into this process here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I got kind of stuck in this corner back here, but if I could pull it out. So this light slides up and down like this. And then inside here, these little pods, this is kale. And if you lift it up, you can see their little root system and they grow in water. You just fill that thing and you fill some fertilizer. That's literally it. It's all you do. And so this one is salad greens. It looks kind of funky because these leaves are brand new. But they'll just fill up this whole thing and spill over. Like this Swiss chard is not even sprouted yet. So it sprouts in five to 10 days. So it hasn't even sprouted yet. But there's a little dude in there about to come out. So anyway, and then you leave that as low as possible. And this light turns on, whoops, I actually turned it off. The light turns on automatically and holds on for 15 hours. So, isn't that cool? So then I was just talking to Amber and I'm like, this is awesome and I'm gonna actually use it for my shakes because especially since the garden, the vegetables and the leafy greens in the garden are gonna go out here and soon in the summer in Texas. So I'm gonna use these for salads and for making my shakes in the morning. And I'm like, that's not gonna be enough. 
even if it was really big and growing all in there, I don't think it'd be enough for what I could actually eat. So I was talking to Amber, like, I need to get more, or they have really big ones. Like, maybe I should get a big one. And I was like, well, where do I put it in the house? And she couldn't decide, and she was like, I could tell she was thinking, like, I don't want more of these in my house. So I was like, how about by the bathtub? It's perfect, you know? Like, there's a bathtub, and then there's, like, a little table, and she was like, no. The idea that what we came up with is, the idea is, how about this bathroom in the barn? We're not going to be living here. And so I could set up like a little hydroponic station in the bathroom. And the reason I have to do it somewhere enclosed is because it needs to, it can't drop below 70 degrees and it shouldn't get over like 90 degrees, which would be anywhere outside or in, inside any other barn or garage. So you put it in there, I have an air conditioner in there. I have a little window unit so it would keep it cool. So, but I love it. It's awesome, right? All right. Well, where do we start? <laughs> We're in our storm shelter. We actually are using it because uh, there's a tornado sighting in the area. It's uh -huh. the yeah. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. oh, you didn't it's tell the, me that. It's the middle of the night. Well, we didn't want to scare you. There's a tornado sighting, so our phones went started buzzing, went off, and said tornado warning: take shelter, especially if you're in an RV. <laughs> or a trailer, and all of our neighbors are taking shelter, so we woke the kids up, jumped in the car, ran, drove 100 yards down the road to our house that's still being built, and jumped in the storm shelter, just to be safe. And the storm's traveling really fast, so we'll know. Yeah, we can hear the hail. And the hail is huge. All right, we got Lennon, hair soaked. <laughs> We are wet, but we are safe, right? Mm -hmm. Praise three, Jesus. Three pieces of hail go to my head. Three pieces of hail. It's about 11 o'clock at night. And we need chairs down here. I know, we need, we, now we realize we need chairs. I did bring juice in case we get stuck. <laughs> I grabbed it when I could. So we're going to wait it out, and we'll update soon. But right now we're safe. <laughs> Okay. Well, bless you, buddy. When did you like waking up? Same time you did, or same time I woke you up. Okay. Okay. Thank you, trusty storm shelter. Okay, it's still raining. I'm scared to see you out there. I'm scared to look at my car. All right. Drive back up to the barn. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. <laughs> I mean... You okay, bud? Here, here, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. <laughs> you can't tell if your car is damaged yet. I know. crazy after that storm. It's just the most beautiful day. I can't believe last night we were in a storm shelter. Had some problems in the garden. As you can imagine, got a lot of, a lot of leaves got destroyed. You can see the, kind of makes me think about the farmers that, that have, you know, crops that they're they're depending on to make a living and then a hailstorm comes when they're still pretty weak. Corn did okay, the, the squash just looks really sad. Really sad. Oh well. This is like the second time in two months that I've worked on something on the property and then some kind of nature storm came in and just squashed it. 
second time in two months. And I told you last time when this happened with the winter storm, that it was like this reminder that, hey, don't fall in love with this earth. Don't fall in love with the world. Maybe I was tending to the garden too much. I don't know, I think about those kind of things. But it is a beautiful day. And it is, it is a, a really good reminder. I've been working hard in the garden and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna come back, but uh, what a crazy, what a crazy time. Crazy two months. What's up guys? What's up everybody? What were we about to do? <laughs> I was about to pick at him like he doesn't like. Hmm. He's been working outside so he's got all this stuff all over him. Sorry. Sorry. So this is an interesting episode. Um, we didn't film as much of it because it was a crazy night and so basically I'll start at the beginning. Yeah. We put the kids down. I knew there was a chance of rain but we put the kids down and I we were we were watching the office. Yeah, we were watching the office. We we're like, it was what, 11? Yeah, you so, heard thunder. Like 11 p.m. and we heard thunder and I was like, all right, awesome, thunder. Yeah. I'm so excited because we always need rain here. And then all of a sudden her phone just goes Bzzz, and pick it up and it says tornado warning. Take shelter Take now. shelter immediately. And then it has a little disclaimer. It says at the bottom, if you're in a mobile home, you know, and so I was like, should we, should we like, and then all of a sudden our neighbors started texting like, you guys okay, we're going under the stairs. And I was like, okay, let's go. So I know it's like if our neighbors, if, cause we were debating waking the kids up. Cause sometimes it was all course, about the kids because if we wake them up to do this, it could terrify them yeah. for weeks, you know, that they would be thinking, is there a tornado? So I didn't want to do it, to do it unless we knew. And when our neighbors texted us, I was like, okay, let's go. And I kept thinking, I was like, we're like, should we go? Should we go to the storm shelter? And then I just had this feeling like for some reason, you had the, the mind to create it. So I feel like we needed to go. Yeah. So he was like, okay. So we grabbed our shoes. I grabbed my robe, I think. Yeah. Um, and we went in and woke the kids up and they were so confused. Yeah. So we obviously we weren't thinking about this mist. We weren't thinking yeah. about filming. It's hailing hard. Like while we're getting the kids up, it is like pounding on the barn. So you can hear the hail. And we can't run from our barn to the shelter because it's hailing really hard. So I was like, we have to drive my car. And he was like, you're gonna mess up your car. And I was like, well, we don't have a choice. So yeah. my car did get a little bit of hail damage, um, but we put blankets over the kids' heads and we got kind of pelted as we ran into the storm shelter. So then when we got in there, it was the first time I thought about the Smiths. And I was like, well, we're down here. You wanna get out your phone? And so she pulled out her phone and sorry, but not sorry that we didn't film yeah. uh, a night like this. I didn't think to get my nice camera out, but. Uh, we realized what we need in the shelter because it's not ready. It's not quite ready yet because we're not moving moving into the house yet. So we don't have super our dirty. supplies. It's super dirty. There's no blankets or anything to sit, no water or nothing. So now we, we were thinking while we were down there stuff that we need yeah. and came back, put the kids back down. Lincoln went to bed fine. London got back up because she was scared, which is exactly what we thought. Um, but she ended up going to sleep and they got, went to school on time. So And, it's, and we're thankful we have the shelter yeah. and we actually got to use it. So now that it's in the house, I'm thinking, well, We've already used it once, so it's not like we're never going to use this thing. So it was, it was, it was awesome. Did you know that that tornado touched down? No. It touched down like ten miles from here. No. So. No. Yeah, it was, it was legit. <sighs> While we got the camera out, do you baby bump? bump or we, what we got? A little bit. Can you see it? We got it. You're, you're a little far away. Let's see. Eighteen. It's not that much. I showed it on my Instagram, and everyone's like, "You don't even have a bump." But I have really tight leggings on right now, so. Yeah, why are you hiding it now? You don't have to hide it anymore. I'm not hiding it, it's just comfortable. I can't so. wear my jeans because I can't button them. And I know they do the bands and I do the little hair tie around there, but it's you just comfortable see, in leggings. You wanna see how they, why they get their head stuck? <laughs> That's why they get their head stuck in the fence, because they do that. They're so pretty. Is there not enough good grass? Is there seriously not enough good grass? All right, well, anyway. All right, is that all we got? Yep. Thank you guys for your comments on the cooking section last time. Let me know if y'all want to see more. I was thinking of making a dessert to show you guys. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Love y'all. Cool. Love you. See you Tuesday. Bye. Yee, yee, bye.